can't put a price on life. That's a direct quote from the family of a Greenwood eighth grader who is now thanking the school for saving their loved one's life. WRTV's Adam Schum shares their story and their message. It's hard to put into words for Amanda Burton what her nephew means to her. He's goofy. Um, he loves sports. He loves his family. For the first time since Friday, Amanda is outside of Greenwood Middle School. She wants to say thank you to those who helped save her nephew, 14-year-old Corey Tiller's life. I want to share this because these coaches need recognition and the staff needs recognition because they literally saved his life. On Friday, Greenwood Community School Corporation said that Corey collapsed during basketball practice. He was running a drill with the rest of the kids and he went into cardiac arrest. I mean, basically he was running and then he stopped and then he fell to the ground. Greenwood Community School Corporation said that coaches and staff members were able to quickly administer CPR and use an AED, ultimately saving Corey's life. I just want to say thank you, like, to these coaches and the staff that were watching and that were all there because if this happened at home, like, when he was playing basketball with his brother, he could have died out there. Out of hospital survival for a sudden cardiac arrest in the total population hovers somewhere between 10 and 20 percent. Dr. Adam King with Riley Hospital said that sudden cardiac arrest is really rare for children. He said that knowing how to do CPR and use an AED is vital for everyone. There are going to be kids out there who we have not yet identified and we need to be able to respond to them. And we know that getting an AED on the scene as quickly as possible into the hands of community members who know how to use it will save lives. We are just incredibly thankful and I don't know how to repay them. I mean, there's nothing you can do. There's no price you could put on a life. Working for you. I'm just so thankful. Adam Shumes, WRTV. Incredible story. So Corey's family says that he remains in the hospital where he is recovering. And we do wish him the very best during that process. CPR was a key tool that first responders used to revive Corey Tiller. If you would like to become CPR certified or receive an AED certification, you can sign up on the American Red Cross website. That's redcross.org. We have a direct link in this story on our website, WRTV.com.